Hello and welcome back to my Defiance College Team Builder Dynasty. Past the midpoint in the year, we are now ineligible to go to a bowl game, but not all goals and hopes are lost yet because our new focus for the remainder of this season is going to be how can we find a creative way to win against teams that are far more superior than us and come out at the end of the season with at least one win in the left side column. Looks like we're bringing in two solid recruits at corner and linebacker next year. This episode today is going to be a double header. That is in part to two things, one being that it will save time and two being I'm trying to get this season done as quick as possible because it is horrendous and it's tough to play every game and to know that you're going to lose every game and you're going to embarrass yourself on the internet and make yourself look like a fool. So yeah, possibly more double headers. Cincinnati is far more superior, yada yada, moving on. Another team that likes to run the rock. Oh yes, everything is coming together perfectly. That's funny. Our punter is our best player too. Alright, Cincinnati is a good opponent. So let's be one of those teams that are just like really bad, but show out against only superior opponents and just try and give them a difficult day. I'm okay being one of those teams. Throw on the run, and we got Q for a huge gain down the left side of the field. Woo, that felt good. Let's hope we can continue to do that. Ooh, completes it in a tight window to get Cologne, and we got a first. Oh, I didn't know we had motion and it caused us to be late. Pass over the middle to an open receiver that was just floated a bit too high and it's picked off. Tough break when we knew that we had the first down right there if we could have just threw it a bit lower and a little bit faster. Picks apart the defense for a first down. There to stop them and force a third down is Bell. Quarterback keeper, he's hitting the backfield, keeps running, and he doesn't get the first down. Defense forces a fourth down on their first drive out there. Long field goal attempt for them. And it's no good, way to the right. A battle of the top 12s and number three, Kansas State falls to number 11, Oklahoma. We're gonna scramble. Not much room to run, though. Well, we might have a lane. Oh, right into the linebacker's arms and another interception to end the drive. Tough break. Hits him in the backfield, keeps running, finally gets dragged down after he crosses the first down mark. Throws it out to the middle. Another first down. Run, and we got the people back there to make them lose yards. Quarterback has time and it's broken up. Great job defense making a stand again. That's twice in a row in the beginning of this game. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, he misses this one to the left too. Still a tie ball game as we near the end of this first quarter. Tight ends open way out there and he drops it. Oh my gosh, that could have been such a huge pickup. Oh, get clone in between the defenders. He's got so many yards to go. Look at that huge pickup. Oh, broken play magic. And this is the thing that we all do not want to see. The man who seems to be putting our offense back together is looking like he's hurt now. All right, Pritchard, you got some shoes to fill, man. You were a starter before. Let's see if you can rekindle the flames that once made me believe you were the guy. Yeah, dump off to the tight end. That's two drops in a row for him. Verity, the backup quarterback, hangs onto the ball to get us first down inside the red zone. Ooh, we get a screen off. They can't tell. End of the first quarter, who would have thought that I would be feeling so good after throwing not one, but two interceptions. It is 0-0. Our defense has came to play. We also did get lucky that their field goal kicker missed two kicks. But hey, a stop is a stop. And we get the first down on a weird forward backward flip thingy. Fullback gets it, and of course he gets stuffed at the line. Nope, we're going to start sneaking it. And I think we got it. Touchdown, let's go.
taking lead to start the second quarter is huge. Bye bye. Oh, running back has a hole up the middle. Nobody is there to stop him. They came and answered right back, and they did not waste any time whatsoever. Trying to beat the defensive end, we got a lane to the outside. Looks like Smiley's in here, so we're going to have to try an actual pass. And way overthrown. Pass to the outside and another miss. Nicely aimed punt. And it rolls out of bounds inside the 20. Wide open receiver, first down pickup for him. And we force an interception. Tyler Bell Jr. gets his hand on it. Gets us some extra yards too. Quick pass, Pompey's got it, and a first. Oh, looks like we have some room. We get the first, huge pickup. Oh, we had him, oh, it gets picked. Thrown way off the mark to a guy, not even close to who I was throwing it to. Intercepted. Was hoping to come away there with at least three points, but now we're coming away with nothing. I can't believe how inaccurate that pass was. That wasn't to Gia Cologne, that was to Marcus. It's a screen, I'm out there, but I'm getting blocked. Oh, running back finally gets tripped with only three seconds left. And their kicker finally gets it through the uprights. Three point lead for him. That takes us to half and wow, what a half. Who would have thunk Cincinnati, one of the better teams we play, would only be beating us by three at halftime. Closest game we've ever had. Still three interceptions on offense. It's tough because you have receivers open and it would be so huge to pick up those yards and just continue to build momentum through the air and ground. But they're just not consistent or reliable enough to do that. Defense is making plays, simple as that. I'm so happy with their progression through the year. We still did get one and done on that touchdown for Cincinnati, but hopefully we can continue to stop them for the majority of this game. So run, safety hits them, can't bring them down. Wouldn't it be crazy if they figured out all they need to do is run the ball versus us? Screen pass. Quarterback keeper, open holes, safety, can't make the tackle and he's off. Nobody in front of him. Touchdown Cincinnati. It looks like Garibay gets to rejoin us a little bit earlier than we expected. Oh yeah, we got a lane here. Perfect. Pass hits, <laughs> pass hits Gia Cologne and he wasn't even paying attention. Awareness level zero there as the ball hits him and he doesn't do anything about it. Oh, probably could have got a couple extra yards there, but I'm just so scared of fumbling. Not the best read, but we got it into the tight end's hand and he had it for a second. I thought he was going to keep it. Oh, I think he's going to return this. Bounces off his head. Wow, that actually kind of ended up working out. Pass hit, 11 yards, and a first. And German gets a sack. Going deep, nobody's back there. Wide open receiver, but we trip him before he gets into the end zone. Quarterback's gonna try and sneak, but we get him back in the backfield for another sack. Ooh, thought we had him stop there, but he cuts inside and gets another touchdown. He's open, Verity, he's got it. First down pickup. Sitting pretty inside the 30 yard line on Cincinnati's side of the field. We might have a lane, no. Oh, actually, yes, Casey Lee. I can't believe it, we actually threw a touchdown pass. Great last second decision there from Garibay to toss it to Casey Lee. I didn't think the pass was gonna be accurate enough, but Casey Lee gets it inside of the pylon and gets us our second touchdown of the game. 
Oh, he cuts inside his block. First down for him. Oh, no. Quarterback takes quite a few hits, drags the guy forward. First down. Ooh, almost get him. Oh, he just stiffed arm Tyler Cox on the play. Another screen. Again, I can't do anything about it. He cuts inside his block. Quick pass. Badir makes the tackle. Quarterback stopped before breaking the plane, but he's got a first down. Safety gets in there. It's gray. Backup safety coming in and making a huge tackle for loss. Third quarter there had its ups and downs, but we found the end zone once more. With a couple key crucial third down and long conversions, we made some magic happen. We also did let up on defense a bit though as well. Running back gets it and he doesn't get in. He's as close as he can be. It's third down on the inch yard line. Safety tackles him. We got a fourth down. Field goal's up and good. Oh, if he could have just launched it deep, we had Casey Lee screaming down the field. Oh no, Garibay's hurt again though. Pompey's got it. And a first down. Oh my gosh, we got Q. Huge downfield bomb. He's still running inside the 20. Wow, Pompey's got it on the outside and we're inside the five yard line. Oh, I thought I had it, but it's intercepted. That's such a disappointment. Oh no, he's gonna get past Pritchard and nobody's there to stop him. Damn it, that was such a good drive too. Disappointed in myself, disappointed in what could have been. Another freaking f Another broken record against us. Oh, what? He ended up diving forward instead of sliding. I don't see how he fumbled that. Pass to the tight end. And over the middle into the end zone, another Cincinnati touchdown. And another fumble. I was clearly trying to do too much there, but still. Pass to the outside. Quarterback's gonna try and sneak it. He's got room. It's a pass, fullback, touchdown. A little bit of running room. Whoa, a little shifty maneuvering there. We get the first down pickup. Nobody's gonna cover Smiley, he's slow. So no one was really expecting that. Oh yeah, tons of running room. Why does he keep diving forward? He fumbles it for the third straight time. I think it's safe to say that these fumbles were a pretty big issue for our team in the second half. Oh, he misses it. Oh, please don't let him score. Why do you still have your starters in? You Cincinnati. Verity's got it. Huge pass down the field. Right Hodges has it. I know it doesn't mean much, but we're taking the three points here because we're a much better team than what the score indicates. Definitely rough ending to this game. It started off with so much promise and we went into halftime with the closest game we had had yet this year. I look at the three fumbles from our quarterback. We had issues with sliding. I don't know what the deal was there. I do know how to slide. Those really cost us. They scored directly off those fumbles every single time. The score is much closer than what it seems. 
I know we probably still wouldn't have won that game, but I still wanted to be competitive and I wanted to have something to show for it. A close game would have been a real cherry on top there. Still, overall I'm pleased with the way we played. We got some things done on offense and our defense did make some great stands. We had 442 yards on offense, let up 492 on defense. 129 rushing yards and 313 passing yards. Now that looks like a real unbalanced offense to me. Seven total turnovers though cost us real bad. Four interceptions and three fumbles lost. Even despite the interceptions early on, it felt like they weren't really costing us because our defense was playing so well and keeping us in the game. Nothing too crazy in the football world, except for number eight, Georgia manhandling number 19, Florida. Oh, and Kentucky taking down 21, Mississippi State. Q. Wright Hodges earns player of the game honors. He had three catches. All of them were big time yardage though. Racked up 110 yards through the air. Tyler Bell Jr. had four tackles and one interception. I'm pretty sure those four tackles he had were pretty key or came at least during key time. So I would say he's pretty deserving of the award after today's performance. Sweet, another kid is committed to fines for next season. I was going to say that it's a much needed position, but to be honest, we need to fill every position. It's a home game for us and a weird turn of events, Kirky has actually picked us to win this game. We are 0-8 on the season, have showed no signs of being able to stop or beat any team in FBS. But thank you Kirky for always believing in us. Their passing game is atrocious, and their rushing game isn't much better. Just might be time for the Yellow Jackets to secure a victory. Then again, those are some pretty shaky bars, so maybe not. Trying to impress a wide receiver and a punter in today's game. In what feels like our 8th straight coin toss loss. We will be starting this game on offense. Outside lane, quarterback's just quick enough to get a first down. Mark is wide open and we can't hit him on the pass. First drive fails to get anything going. Following his blockers, he gets a first down. We hit him in the backfield, but he pushes forward for nine yards. Manages to get the pitch out there. I don't know if we can have a guy that can stop him, but Sunia gets there. Breaks off of it. Cox pushes him out of bounds. Pitches it. Duke gets carried into the end zone. Touchdown, Kent State. And that's picked off from the safety. Ball was floated just too far down the field. Garibay's going to try and stop him. Gets blocked. Pick six. Now that feeling of hopelessness and despair is starting to sink in. Pompey's got a quick one over the middle, first down. Q's got it. Get us some extra yards, please. Q makes the tough catch to actually, no he doesn't. Fourth and three. We're gonna go ahead and take a risk here. We had a receiver who could have thrown too deep down the field too, but I was just trying to get to the outside, trying to buy some more time. Pass to the outside. First down pickup for him. Another pass over the middle and another first down. Ooh, almost had the sack there. Quarterback snaking for it though, and he gets first down inside the 10. Oh, he somehow finds his way through the middle, but trips, loses yards. Quarterback's going to sneak again. Sunia can't get there. Touchdown. Completed pass to Marcus. He makes a move, gets us up the field. Tons of running room out here. We almost got a block to the outside, too. Oh, yeah, more running room here. Oh, wow, what an amazing pick. Tried throwing a quick hitter once I saw the man over the receiver bail, but passes too far in front, too high, gets intercepted. And there's going to be nobody out there. That is a run to the outside for a touchdown to end the first quarter. Well, we have never overcome a 28-point deficit. I was going to say we never overcome a 21-point deficit, but they did score there right before the end of the quarter. I would say now is the time to overcome that, but we've never done such a feat in our entire existence. Q's wide open, and we actually get a decent pass off. 
Running back. See if he can pick up the first. He does, just barely. Decent pass. Decent catch. First down and a flag. That's what I like to see. Q's got it over the middle and a first down. And fullback gets stuffed. I don't know why we keep trying that, but we do it every time. And on third down, not in. Fourth and goal, we dive over our own lineman and we finally get into the end zone. Pass over the middle. They're already on our side of the field. Caught, Tyler Bell. Not sure who got the running back there, but glad he fell. Pass it short, and we tackle him before it gets too far. Still pretty happy our defense was able to force just a field goal. Halftime here, and the only thing to say is that I'm actually quite disappointed. I've gotten good at disconnecting from my feelings while playing with this team, but I just feel like I'm doing so many things right and for us to come out and still perform like we have in the past is just, it's tough. Still, we found the end zone and we did have a nice stop to force them to kick a field goal before halftime. Gonna continue to run the ball the way that we have and hopefully find a way to stop them on defense. Quarterback fakes the handoff, keeps himself, runs to the end zone, nobody's there, touchdown right off the bat. To the outside, Q hauls it in. Nowhere to go, nothing there. Finds an open receiver to the right sideline. Hall misses the tackle. We only have Markham in between him and the end zone, and he can't get there. Another score for Kent State. Casey Lee's got it. His first catch of the day. Oh, wow. The corner comes blitzing from the outside, picks off the inside route. Kent State's ball. Ball was late getting out there, and the defense did a great job of disguising their coverage. First and goal. Delay. Get him in the backfield. Quarterback's got all the time in the world. Hits his receiver, but he's down before he can cross the goal line. Open lane for the quarterback. Oh, he dies forward. Casey Lee catches it. Can he get forward enough? He does. Nobody's over there, that's gonna be intentional grounding. Son of a intentional grounding. Nope, nope, we're gonna get caught. Heading into the fourth quarter, does not look good. Garibay was hurt on the last play of the third quarter as well, so our starting quarterback goes down. But we are facing a third and 38, so I don't think it was really gonna matter anyways. Manages to throw it all the way down the field, but it is so far out of bounds. We had an open receiver who could have actually picked up the first down, and we are nowhere close to him. Gets a chance to return it, and he takes it all the way to our 30. Running back goes untouched all the way down to the 10. Bounced around back there for a pinball for a while, but James Reeves gets him down. Flag, I think they got a face mask and a first down. And into the end zone, another one for their running back. Open lane, Pritchard's got it. He's going to be our starting quarterback for the remainder of the game. And he fumbles. Just like he did last game. God. Nothing there. 
Touchdown. This is garbage. Garbage time, garbage performance. Team is definitely playing how I feel at the moment. Pompey on the out route, he catches it. Q's got it, he's getting some extra yards. Pompey catches it. First down at the 15. Screen's wide open, get some blocks. Try our best to get over the top here, and Pritchard's in. Still losing by a lot, but always happy when we can find the end zone. And it appears to me that they're just gonna run the book clock out until the game's over. And that right there is the game. Ended on a high note with the touchdown, but that still isn't making me feel much better about this game. It was pretty ugly to say the least. I just want for once to have a game that's at least close, especially after coming from Cincinnati, who we were only down by three points going into halftime. I feel like I had pretty much figured out the most of what I can do on offense and defense, and I was hoping that that would be enough to carry me to a victory or at least a close game at some point. Just with the way that this game went down, it didn't seem like we were any closer to finding a victory or finding some kind of way to keep it close with another team. Kent State ended up not being no slouches either. They were 80s in every single category. But just from checking out their team, they weren't really anything special. Their stats showed that they had trouble throwing and passing the ball, so I was upset that we couldn't really keep that contained. And offense just kept making turnovers, losing the ball at times when we really didn't need to. Yeah, you look at this and I'm not really sure how you expect to win a game with five turnovers. It sucks, but hopefully next year we'll have a guy back there who's a little bit more accurate. Still, 297 total yards in offense, not too bad. 208 yards passing, 89 yards rushing. The rushing yards is starting to look better each game, but the 250 passing yards was our goal and we did not hit that for our recruit. Q Wright Hodges takes home offensive player of the game with six receptions and over 100 yards receiving. He made some pretty big catches for us in today's game. Russell Berrigan, a guy who does not see the field too often, gets defensive player of the game. He only had one tackle, but it was for loss and it was a sack. Proud of that man for getting some recognition, but it probably should have gone the German or somebody who uh, was a little more deserving. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the doubleheader. The Cincinnati matchup was definitely a better game than Kent State. But in my next video, I'll be taking on the University of Ohio. They are a top 10 ranked team, so hopefully we can give them some trouble. But I hope you enjoyed watching. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.